I'm going to talk about calipers. They are right here in this cabinet. We do lots of more precision measurement, and that's uh, that's what this is for, for uh, things that a ruler just can't quite get precise enough, like drill bits and, and screw sizes, that sort of thing. Okay, so so this is the way to hold it. This is measuring in thousandths of an inch. You just roll it with your thumb there. First, first thing, make sure that this is zero because sometimes, oh, that one doesn't do it. Let's see if this one, yeah, sometimes that'll happen where the, okay, where the, uh, where the zero, when this is totally closed all the way, the needle is not pointing at zero. So first thing I always do is check to make sure that it's zeroed, all right? And then the way to, uh, I'll mention each one of these little notches, come, come back, each one of these little notches is one thousandth of an inch. So that, for example, is 10 thousandths or one one hundredth of an inch. If you go all the way around one revolution, that's one hundred thousandths or one tenth of an inch. So if you were to go 10 revolutions and you have these numbers here, Okay, we're gonna reveal right there. You can see the one, that's one inch. So if it just barely reveals that one right there, that's exactly one inch. Or if it barely reveals the five, that of course would be a half inch right there. So the way to, the way to read it, this one was in the quarter inch slot. When you, when you measure a drill bit, that's probably the most common thing that I use the, the calipers for is for drill bits. You don't want to measure it here. You don't want to measure it on the fluting of the drill bit. You want to measure it back on the on the little end. So this is measuring at 200 and so there's the two that's revealed. So 246 thousandths. So well yeah, it's measuring at 246,000, so it's not exactly, it's not exactly a quarter inch, but it's pretty close. I mean, it's four thousandths off. Well, but that wasn't really zeroed, so let's see if that's any better. Well, not really. Okay. So that's close enough to a quarter inch. All right. So you have, when you're measuring outside diameter, that's what you have, you have here. But then inside diameter is, is, is this measurement here. So for example, say you're measuring the inside of, of a hole, these two measurements being the same. So the inside of this hole, you know, being approximately like that, you can put this inside the hole and that's gonna give you the same measurement. So the inside of this glue cap, if we needed to measure that for whatever reason, is measuring at, Looks like 710 thousandths. You have to make sure that uh, like that, that line there on the 700 is just barely revealed. It looks like it could be 600, but you know that it's seven because it's just barely over on the, on the 10 side, not on the, not on this. So that would be on the 700 side, not on the 600 side, which would be on the other side of the zero. I don't know if that's, if I'm making any sense there, but okay. Uh, you also have this measurement here, which is the same measurement as the outside diameter and the inside, or outside measurement and the inside measurement. So this can measure depth. You need to measure the depth of a, of a hole. Let's see. Um, let's say, I don't know. I guess, I guess we can go here for... Let's say this were deeper, but but this this little I guess gap in the in the tool there. If you needed to know exactly how deep that was for whatever reason, you can put that on the bottom and then just bring that to the to the top surface, and that distance there is precisely the depth of that, which is measuring at. 240 thousandths of an inch. So very important tool.
get to know it, use it, love it. Mm -hmm.